One after the other politically exposed guests together with the academician entering and signing in this book and later getting a chance to comfort Mrs. Magoha in her home, Francis Atuoli, emphasizing hard-standing character and a public officer with no one's debt. Here is going down to the grave without somebody's even one shilling. I know nobody will come here and say I bribed him, I gave him money to do for me this and that. Uh, this is an upright person. And we, in the world of work, we know who is corrupt and who is not corrupt. Because we are represented everywhere. This was a honest, sincere, specific on issues. Kenyan that Kenyans will never have a such a person. Atoli remembers given a stern warning by Magoha for his son's misbehavior at the University of Nairobi. Let other Kenyans simulate the one of the things that we as workers will remember him for is that he was not corrupt. He was a serious man and indeed very serious because he called me one day and he told me I don't want your son in my university. There are very few people who can do that. <laughs> Magoha being the fourth vice chancellor at the University of Nairobi. The other heads who preceded him as well as those whom which he delegated authority arrived to offer their condolences. As a university community, we are mourning that loss. Here, I am with the other people, others who have served as vice chancellor of University of Nairobi. You see, I have served, I, I'm serving as the eighth vice chancellor of University of Nairobi. Uh, and Professor Mangoha also contributed to the same culture. And that's why University of Nairobi it is the way it is now, a strong institution, because of the way the vice chancellors have worked very closely uh, from one to the other uh, to anchor the institution appropriately. Uh, so we are here to condole with the family. We want to share the very good moments that we had with Professor as a good team leader. Uh, who, with all of us, was able to create great value uh, for the University of Nairobi and other universities in this continent and the world. We honor him as we mourn him also in life and in death. His death has left relatives and friends in confused situation as it is the third in three years. On August 31, 2021, Charles Agunga Magoha, the minister's brother, died after a short illness at his home in Stockholm, Sweden. Professor Magoha will be remembered as a sharp, authoritative and courageous minister when he was in the Ministry of Education. For Ebru TV, Amode Francis.